Hello, it's Mr. Mohan, the Distanced SLP. This week, some of my friends are learning about sharks, and they're learning about octopuses. Well, I want to talk about some things you can do with the shark and the octopus in communication skills. Well, one thing we can do is we can say the words shark and octopus. Now, if we're using core words, you'll know that shark and octopus are not core words, they're fringe words. So we can't say shark and octopus with a core board, okay? And I do not know the signs in American Sign Language for shark and octopus. You can look that up on an ASL dictionary. Just look online for an ASL video dictionary and you can look up sign language for all kinds of words. Well, um, I can talk about using your mouth, using your speech sounds. Think about shark. If that's a tricky word to say, but if you use some sounds, you can approximate it. You might say sha, sha, or just sa, or even da, 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 right? Like T-A or D-A, ta. If you know what someone is talking about, then ta might mean the shark. And that's good enough. It's a syllable. It's kind of like shark. So you could hear sha or ta or something like that. And if you're playing around with shark and other words, that's okay. Same with octopus. What could it be? Ah, right? That's my idea to make it real simple. Ah, ah, I simplified a lot of the sounds in octopus. I said ah, or audible, something like that. Ah, you get the idea. When I'm playing around with the octopus and talking about it, it's okay if I use some simpler sounds to talk about it. Well, if we're using a core board, we could say lots of fun things. We could play lots of games with um, words like in and out or eat and stop. Oh yeah, we could use the core board, okay? We could talk about what we're doing. We could say, the octopus is going in the piano. In, in. Now the octopus is going to come out. Out. If you have a friendly shark, I can say the shark, the shark is going to eat Grandpa Earl. Nom, 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 The shark is going to eat. He's going to eat Grandpa Earl. Nom, 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 nom. And while he's eating Grandpa Earl, I can say, stop, stop. Don't eat Grandpa Earl. Lots of games you can play with core words and a shark and an octopus, okay? And if you want your communication learner to be more independent, you can encourage them to say the words themselves. They might have a core board. They might make some signs like eat or stop, or they might say eat or stop or in or out. And you can take the shark and you can encourage your learners to give you a core word.
right? Wait, you can encourage them. You can say, oh, try it. Try this one. Try in. Try eat. And let them try and say the word. And when they tell you eat, you can take the shark and it's time to eat. Hum, num, 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 num. Eat Grandpa Earl. Hum, num, 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 num. Poor Grandpa Earl. All right, those are just some ideas about how you can play with core words and sharks and octopus. Thank you.